I'm here to share what I've learned about water density, so what do I mean by that? Density of water is the weight of water per its unit volume, which is affected by the temperature and water salinity. To easily demonstrate how it works, we're going to do an experiment. But what kind of experiment am I going to do? Aha! Uh -huh. Since it is affected by the temperature and water salinity, we're going to do an experiment using salt, water, and egg for us to know how salinity affects the density of water and why does it make the egg float. And we call this the floating egg experiment. So, let's start! For the materials, we're going to need two pieces of raw eggs, table salt, tablespoon, two clear and transparent shrinking glasses, and plain tap water. For the first procedure, we have to fill one of the drinking glasses to three-fourths of its capacity with water. So, as we can see here, after we gently dropped the egg, it went to the bottom part of the water-filled glass. For the third procedure, let us now fill the second drinking glass half full with plain tap water. So, let's do it. It says half full. Is it enough? <laughs> okay. So, for the fourth procedure, let us now add four tablespoons of table salt into the water, then let's stir it. So, one, two, three, and four. So, let's now stir it. So, after stirring, we're going to fill the rest of the cup with plain tap water almost to the top. So, it should be almost full. Yes. So, we're going to do it. Since the salt is already dissolved, and as we can see here in the second clear drinking glass, the water became clear again, we're now going to put gently the egg into the salt water solution, and let's see what will happen. So, as we can see here in the second clear and transparent drinking glass, the egg floats. Why does it happen? Earlier, I have told you the definition of water density, which is defined as the weight of water per its unit volume, which is affected by the temperature and salinity of water. So, what do I mean by water salinity? It refers to the amount of salt which is dissolved in water. And earlier, in the fourth procedure, I guess, we have added four tablespoons of table salt into the half full amount of water that was filled here in the second clear drinking glass. Then after stirring the water with table salt, we added the rest of the cup with plain top water almost to the top. Then after that, we gently put the second egg into it. In short, the reason why this egg floats and only the middle part of the water-filled glass is because of the four tablespoons of table salt that we added earlier in the half full amount of water that was first filled here in the second clear and transparent drinking glass. And that half full amount of water became denser than the rest of the water that we filled earlier here in the second drinking glass. That is why the egg floats only the middle part. Because generally, the pure liquid density of water is equivalent to 1. Yes, it is equivalent to 1. Meaning to say, once the density of an object is less than 1, it will float to the surface of water. And once the density of an object is greater than 1, it will of course sink to the bottom of water. Just like what happened here in the first clear and transparent drinking glass. So that's it. I hope you have learned something about the density of water. Thank you. Hi again! We're going to do another experiment for us to understand more how the density works. This experiment is called the density column. Are you ready? Let's start! Here are the materials that we need. Measuring devices. For measuring devices, I'm going to use syringes, measuring spoon, and medicine cup. Next, coloring materials. If you do not have food coloring at home, you can use poster paint instead. Sugar. Cups and small bowls where we can mix or dissolve the sugar in water solution. Plastic or glass bottle. I'm going to use clear and transparent glass. And of course, hot water. The first thing that we're going to do is to prepare a syrup with different densities. So, how are we going to do that? First, let us measure the designated amount of sugar needed in the table. For the first cup, we're not going to put any amount of sugar. So, for the second cup, the next thing that we're going to do is to put 15 ml of hot water in each container. So let's start. Be careful because it's hot. So 15 ml. Because 15 ml is equivalent to 1 tablespoon. Next, let us mix the solution carefully and let them cool. After the syrup preparation, let's now proceed for the computation of each syrup density. What we're going to do next is prepare the density column and the prepared syrup that we made earlier. Now, let us add one drop of coloring material to each syrup and mix them carefully. So let's do it. Next, let us carefully add the syrup in the clear and transparent glass in descending order. So let's do it.
liquids with high density sinks to the bottom, while the liquid with lowest density floats to the top. The more we add sugar to water, the more the solution becomes denser. That is why the seven syrup stayed at the bottom because of the sugar it contains is greater among the other sugar water solutions. I hope you have learned something in this video. That's all. Thank you.